What's up guys, Pog here. Today it's going to be a very interesting day for both of us here, got T-Rex. And let's say that that intro what you saw earlier on is actually legit. Like I actually was robbed nine months ago of my iPhone 12. I went to sell it, the guy grabbed it and ran away with it. I will make a probably more detailed video how it all went down because a lot of people have been blaming me about it. That it's my fault that I passed the phone to the guy, but I'm overall like you can ask Travis, I don't judge people. Oh, no. Like I honestly don't care. Like I trust everyone, but unfortunately that trust was was broken well and it's happened to multiple people too you yeah it's not just me it, it is not just me i did some research and this is happening pretty often apple has this new future where your phone can be recovered even if it's like off by i guess using other iphones to locate its location and update it to you not sure how it works but that's what me and travis will be testing out so this is the phone that's about to get stolen by travis he parked it in a way that I can't even see his plates. Just a heads up, usually those people who come to steal your phones, they don't come with a car. They park their car elsewhere and they pretend they walked or take a seat train and they pretend their dad is about to get the money. Just a tip, be careful. It's an iPhone 12 Pro in gold. It's a 128 gigabyte model. You can see it asks for the passcode, which I know. Hey thief, do not look at my passcode. Okay, so I've unlocked the phone. It's not connected to any Wi-Fi. You can see no SIM card. And if I were to turn off, at first I thought Apple has a flaw because right here you can see iPhone findable after power off. And if I click on it, temporarily turn off finding. And, and I thought if the person who potentially stole this phone will do this, it will actually do it. But thankfully there's a passcode required so they can. Travis is about to steal this phone. So as you can see, it can't be unlocked by me and I can't access Exactly. It. Do not run away with this phone. I cannot afford to lose another iPhone. Man, you know where I live. <laughs> it's not like I can get away with it, man. Yeah, I'll chase you down. We're about to break this by accident. <laughs> I just ended up switching my SIM card from my 13 Pro Max into this silver iPhone. Now we have a cellular connection on this silver iPhone that I'm going to be using to track this gold iPhone is not really stealing it. We're just testing this out. It's prove it for all of you so that you can be safe. Okay, so Travis was trying to be nice to put the boxes uh, back together before he leaves and he accidentally dropped the pin for the SIM tray into somewhere here. Now I can no longer put my SIM card back into my 13 Pro Pro Max. It's okay. I mean, it's not a big deal. I just have to downgrade for the day. Oh, I found it. It's right there. If you want to see Travis's perspective when all of this goes down, make sure you go check out the link in the description. This is the current location. That's exactly where we are. What happens if I hit play sound? It's not doing anything. It's not playing a sound, man. Okay, well, that one is probably not going to work, but it does say we're only a minute away from it. You're less than 30 meters away from it. <laughs> At least it shows the location. Sure, we can't play the sound, but let's see if I can find Travis when he is driving away, hiding somewhere in the city. Please don't go too far. Gas is very expensive. <laughs> hey, I'm going to burn more than you. That too, but I do have to fill up premium and my brakes are due soon. My rear brakes yeah. are done. Hey, man, <laughs> I have to get all four of mine replaced, so don't worry. All four? I thought I was unlucky that my rear brakes knew to be replaced he says he needs all of them <laughs> i might be going and trading this phone in to apple store today like the apple store offers me 700 or so dollars for this phone canadian i'm only getting on marketplace 600 dollars offers like are people even okay like i am like you're giving me less than trade they're like we're giving you cash apple gives you gift card you could spend money on accessories and stuff. exactly i mean this case uh, on this phone costs like 80 dollars <laughs> yes it's the magsafe case my man <laughs> Once you leave, you have about 11 minutes to All get right. to somewhere and you have to be stopped, okay? Because I can't be driving and checking where you are. No, oh, man, I'm going to be driving down Deerfoot. You're going to chase me, right? Someone's going to cheat. Dude, I'm the bad guy. I've got the cool car. I was going to sing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to take the box? I'll put it in the box just in okay. case. Yeah, let's not turn off right now. He has until 5 p.m. to leave this location and by 5, 10, he needs to be parked somewhere. And then I'm going to see if I can find him. All right, man. Well, best of luck. Okay, see you soon. I hope. I have no idea where he's going. I don't know if he's going west, north, south, east. I don't know anything. Wherever he goes, the phone will be on. No Wi-Fi, no SIM card. None of that is connected. And I'm going to see if I can track them down using this. And there he leaves. He kind of cheated. He left a minute early. I'm going to go to washroom real quick, though. And probably get something to drink. Can't forget the mask. 506, got to hurry. As usual, I'm always late, so it's already 5.10. Should have been on my way right now, but got the drinks. It's actually really cold. My fingers are freezing, but I'm almost at the car. Huh. So you can see seven minutes ago, it shows that that iPhone was by Canadian Tire. Yeah, it looks like it's parked somewhere here. Loading. Let's see if it changes its location. Let's find the direction. 
starting route to one let's see if we can find travis again we only have a location that was reported about nine minutes ago but that could be the same place that he is currently at if i had rpnet with me this would have been much much easier i think because right now i'm driving i can't really go on my phone and check if it updated the location or not okay do we see travis's red charger anywhere here imagine being in travis's car right now just laughing on me because i'm just driving around here if you see me and i don't see travis's car let's look at the phone again four minutes ago it's at the heritage town center no you didn't <laughs> it says he's around costco now we gotta go around there let's find him that's a 12 minute drive it's just it wasn't updated i'm guessing that's exactly where he is well now travis has to wait a bit longer before he can get his drink because he decided to drive quite a bit far and cost me quite a bit of money on fuel and yes i am the guy who used to drive a v8 6.4 liter lived in the gas station who's honking who They're road raging in front of me. People in the city are children. All right, so we're getting close. Next line, turn left. We're about to be at the Costco. There's gonna be a lot of cars. Oh my God, I think I see his charger. Oh, I also hear a I think I see his charger. Like this, uh, this elevation, the hill is pretty high up. So I actually saw his red car. <laughs> it's parked somewhere on the right thank you to the hill it made this so much easier for me to find him <laughs> oh there he is i see his car i see his car no way <laughs> he's just chilling he's just chilling <laughs> look at him look at him just chilling right there <laughs> oh that is funny so this is where we are. That's where it showed the phone is at. So, uh, is this too far? Is this good? Well, you came here to fill up the car and then see that hill up there. Like I saw your car up from that hill. I was like, I see him. <laughs> no way. Yeah, but that goes to show it takes time to update. It doesn't show you right away. Yeah. It's an appropriate excuses, time. So I don't run you too far. Oh, that's fine. That was fun. <laughs> I like chasing you. That, that's what I ended up doing uh, while I was waiting. So I actually left a bit late. Like, <laughs> oh, I got here like a minute late. I'm like, oh, I hope he's not like no, the no, phone. no, no. I, I gave you a bit of a buffer. Plus, it doesn't update right away. Okay, let me turn my car off before this gets stolen. Even <laughs> though I have a tracker in this car. <laughs> hey, guys, I would tell you how he does it. Well, a good friend doesn't tell his friends secrets. Thank you. So this is my car right here. We have an air tag somewhere hiding in the car. What if they use this tracker to find? Well, I mean, we did find the car, okay? We did find the car, but like, did it actually help them to... Oh. And why do we leave the phone out on the back of my car? Oh God. <laughs> I mean, at least we know it works hey, for exactly. now. <laughs> we, could, we could go find it. Okay, so the phone has a notification. This item is no longer detected near you. Oh, because oh, I left so behind. It yeah. Far enough away. Okay. Sliding it off. The power is off on this iPhone right about now. No more power. I know one way this might not work. If you put it in like an aluminum foil or something. <laughs> Wait, that's another video. Wait, are you sure you don't have it in your car, man? You usually have quite a bit of stuff in your car. No, it's empty because I'm going to be selling this soon. Case is on, man. Okay, let's go. Uh, well, I mean, I'm not going. You're going. You have until like 5.55. That's when I leave, okay? Five fifty-four p.m. right there i just got a text message from travis which says time to find the criminal okay let's do this and here we oh 10 minutes ago okay not a good start right now but the phone is off right and this is where it was where i am at and now it does show here and that's after the phone was powered off somehow it ended up here so i'm guessing we just gotta wait until uh this updates again so it's still showing me the same location as before so 14 minutes ago and uh let's kind of navigate to here and see what happens maybe if i go there it will update the location again who knows or maybe he decided to prank me by not even going anywhere far just literally moving down the parking lot on them easier because i know where to look like i know what car he was in yeah he's not here but the phone did change the location even though it was powered off okay got another update that was 11 minutes ago yeah there's no way he is here so this is where we are and he was last seen around here 
Looks like he exited Deerfoot. It looks like he might have been stopped at a traffic light and other vehicles nearby or even his iPhone. Somehow, if that's how this technology works, ends up reporting the location. Could have been his own iPhone. That's why the next test, we're gonna have his iPhone with me so he doesn't have a phone. In that picture, it looked like he was going to be turning left. So that's why I'm gonna go left. That's my guess he went left here. He went towards uh, 24th Street in my opinion. Navigation does say that it's on the right. I don't think he would be here. It is a possibility that he could come up into this parking lot and stuff because it looks like a nice place to stay. Okay, this must be the final location here. Looks like it's a parking lot. It did update it a minute ago. This is it, I finally found him. So this one took about three tries. Again, if I did have someone in the passenger seat constantly checking the location, I think this would have been a bit easier for me to find. Whereas right now I have to go for the last reported location and then uh, quickly check if it updated. But this is definitely the final location because it's a parking lot and, and that's exactly what the plan is for him to end up somewhere in the city in the parking lot. And uh, that seems like what's happening. And, oh, I saw him. I saw his charger. Found him. Ha ha trying to run away from me oh this <laughs> look at this i can't go there that's him park has actually gone over to the wrong parking lot can he access one over here i don't think so yeah you can see him right there stole my phone look at him took my phone away from me hey give me my phone give me my phone <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this hey, one? Hey, be careful. There's security around here, man. If they hear that sh they might come and tackle me. Did you take left after exiting their foot? Yes. Because that's the screenshot on the map that you were in that stopped in the red light or something. So I need oh, yeah. your phone. Leave the phone. But you're not giving me your phone? Not right now. I still got to film. <laughs> I will give you the phone. It's off, right? This is still off, yes. Okay. I'll take your phone. You're not going to have service. Let's say if I don't find you within an hour. How about half an hour? Dude, it took me half an hour to find you here with this. This could be the reason, like your phone could be tracking your location and helping me find it. Yeah. Also, did you get any notifications that there's a phone following you? No. No, okay, so I guess that's an air tag thing. Just to be clear, you have not a single phone in your car. No, it's Except just, that one. Just this and a uh, GoPro, that's it. Okay, so make sure that never turns on. As you can see. It is off, okay, awesome. Off. So 15 minutes, go wherever you want. So if I'm not there, at 7.25, we meet back here. Yeah. Okay, see ya. I think that was a good deal. I mean, I took an 11 Pro Max and then gave him an iPhone 12 Pro. Except that one is useless. So is this one because I don't know his iCloud password and he doesn't know mine. Here's Travis's phone and the iPhone location has updated even though he has no any iPhone in the car except the iPhone that he stole from me. Oh, it did it. It updated it. Uh, he is at... This is the location? I think he's late. I don't think he arrived to where he wanted to be. <laughs> because it's uh 6 42 and uh he's in the middle of an intersection but because he technically has to be stopped i'm gonna start going that direction he's gonna be around there and Starting off we go right. so apparently he's here this is the intersection that he was at when it was reported earlier on but he's obviously not here he can't be blocking the road so we're gonna go and check again i'll pull over so he wasn't at the location that was marked all right so this is seven minutes ago <laughs> okay so it looks like he's at chinook mall let's go and get there i don't need the address i know how to get there but this might take me exactly where he is so we're about to enter chinook mall and it does tell me to go straight apparently i don't think travis would have done that so we're gonna go left and if it doesn't then i see a red car up there no that's not him okay i don't see his car though imagine if he went underground parking i don't see a red charger still have about 24 minutes to find him before he leaves this spot wherever he is the phone now says he's on my right which is a bridge so this is what it shows right now i don't know is he in the mall looks like it he sure made this one more difficult um i have his phone here and the other phone and i'm gonna track him down so that's where it shows it i'm gonna hit directions and then try to walk into it since in the beginning i did mention i might just trade this at the apple store he might be somewhere around here getting closer 
I don't see him and I, I have only like 17 minutes left. Shows him more in a parking lot now. I think we're getting close guys. I don't think he went inside. <laughs> we barely have time. Must be here somewhere. Where did he park? No, it looks like he's more over this way. I don't have much time. Really don't. He sure made me run around so much. <laughs> four minutes ago oh no i'm running out of time don't see his car this is not where he is i think he's inside the mall i hope he didn't went underground here in the underground parking and now it shows more over here i don't see him guys i don't see him it's 7 17. <laughs> no way <laughs> no you guys should have seen my reaction when i saw that no way <laughs> I was inside the mall, outside parking, just walking around. Yeah, you know what? I enough time to go get dinner and you still didn't find me. Oh my god, dude. I thought you were about to leave. Wait, what's work then? Oh wait, here's your phone. Your girlfriend texted you. The reason I thought that you might be underground is because of the aluminum foil thing. My car is all the way at the food court. My GoPro man, it was keep falling off because I forgot my mount. Look at this professional right there. That's only because you've lent me this for how many months? <laughs> well, I mean, I had my own. I just couldn't find it. Can uh, you start the car, man? I've been running so long. Hey, trust me. I'm sweating and I haven't been running. <laughs> I was walking. Dude, I thought like, because I had until like 27, right? 25. You were at the Blackfoot and then that's where I went. And then yeah. I was at the hey, bank. You, you want to know something? What? I think I figured out how this all works. It's based off of Wi-Fi. Because you went by a Canadian Tire, a McDonald's. I think it's based Tim on Hortons? people who have iPhones. Yeah, but just like the Air Tags. It could be. Or Let us know, guys, in the comments. We're just here experiment experimenting it. Another video. What happens if I activate lost mode? Is that going to notify him that an iPhone around him is lost? Mm. Just let us know. What other videos do you guys want us to see? Because this take a lot of time. Yes, um, uh, lots of guests. What? You got exercise too. I'm yes. helping you reach your rings. Let's see. Exercise ring is closed. Oh, That's pretty there, good. There you go. I helped you, man. Thank you. <laughs> but you don't even know how much stress you're putting me through. I was like, I'm about to fail this. Hey, look, it's 725. <laughs> and if I wasn't here, he would have left. Yeah, I would have left at this time. Can you take me to my car, please? The maps told me to go straight and I turned left. I honestly can't believe that the iPhone was telling me exactly where to go. It does tell me to go straight, apparently. I don't think Travis would have done that. Oh my god, it is. I, go I, right. <laughs> I came straight from here and made a left and the, car, and the GPS told me to go straight. Let us know guys how this find my works. Remember, make sure that you have your iCloud on your phone. Do oh, not. My yeah. Do not remove your iCloud, like I did, until you receive the payment of your phone. This is just in regards to if you're selling it. But in general, always have iCloud, find my own. There we go, he just brought me to my car. Thanks for the drive. This guy's a better driver than me. He doesn't even have a backup camera. Just don't hit the... <laughs> that would be the... <laughs> what, if I hit the thing there? Yeah. <laughs> it looks closer than it is. No, like you just went a bit too fast to my comfort. So here's what you guys have to do. You go over to your settings and click on your iCloud. Then over here to find my. From there on, you need to go over to find my. And then make sure you turn on this. Participate in the find my network lets you locate this iPhone even when it's offline and after power off. And can you show us, make sure the iPhone was fully off still? We have never touched this. I didn't. Yeah, look at that. The iPhone's fully off. Yeah. And uh, trust me, I showed them that when I got underground. I'm like, here it is. Look at that. What I'll do is, I paid this with a credit card. I'll refund this phone. I'll trade both of these iPhones, and then I'll use the gift card for this phone. That's smart. Yeah, except Apple might see too many returns because <laughs> I don't think it shows that I just returned and bought the phones. Thanks again, the town, for watching. Let me go trade these in and, and the yeah. 256. Let me transfer all the files I need, though. That's true. Yeah. <laughs>